If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task, and another, and another. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that you made. That you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. So if you want to change the world, start off by making it. Watching my grandmother boil clothes in a big iron pot through the screen door because we didn't have a washing machine and made everything we had. I watched her and realized somehow that although this was segregated Mississippi and I was colored and female, that my life could be bigger, greater than what I saw. I believe that if you can learn to focus on what you have, you will always see that the universe is abundant and you will have more. If you concentrate and focus in your life on what you don't have, you will never have enough. Be grateful. Create the highest, grandest vision possible for your life because you become what you believe. Dream big, but remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. And they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals. Life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. I try to give myself a goal every day. And understand that to achieve these goals, we must apply discipline and consistency. In order to achieve your goal, you must apply discipline, which you've already done, and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday. You have to work at it every day. It's not about the events. It's not about intensity. It's about consistency, right? It's the daily practice of all the monotonous, little, boring things like brushing your teeth that matter most. You go to the dentist twice a year, your teeth will fall out. You have to brush your teeth every day for two minutes. What does brushing your day twice a day supposed to do? Nothing. Unless you do it every day, twice a day. Consistency. What starts here changes the world. Well, I've got to admit, I kind of like it. What starts here changes the world. But changing the world can happen anywhere, and anyone can do it. What will the world look like after you change it? Well, I'm confident that it will look much, much better. But if you'll humor this old sailor for just a moment, I have a few suggestions that may help you on your way to a better world. I've been a Navy SEAL for 36 years, but it all began when I left UT for basic SEAL training in Coronado, California. To me, basic SEAL training was a lifetime of challenges crammed into six months. And while these lessons were learned during my time in the military, I can assure you that it matters not whether you ever served a day in uniform, it matters not your gender, your ethnic or religious background, your orientation, or your social status. Our struggles in this world are similar, and the lessons to overcome those struggles and to move forward, changing ourselves and changing the world around us will apply equally to all. So here are the 10 lessons I learned from basic SEAL training that hopefully will be of value to you as you move forward in life. Start each day with a task completed. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and will encourage you to do another task and another and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. Find someone to help you through life. You can't change the world alone. You will need some help. And to truly get from your starting point to your destination takes friends, colleagues, the goodwill of strangers, and a strong coxswain to guide you. Respect everyone. If you want to change the world, measure a person by the size of their heart. Not your color, not your ethnic background, not your education, not your social status. 
know that life is not fair and that you will fail often. Sometimes, no matter how well you prepare or how well you perform, you still end up as a shooter. But if you take some risks, step up when the times are the toughest, face down the bullies, lift up the downtrodden, and never, ever give up, if you do these things, the next generation and the generations that follow will live in a world far better than the one we have today. And what started here will indeed have changed the world for the better. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. There is no excuse for not living up to your full potential. No excuse. We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. I'm gonna say it again, like you, somebody gave you a guarantee, $30, 30 day guarantee. In 30 days, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you die. Until you get to that point, you let you die. You've never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my fault. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% on the work. I let me out. You always want to blame other people. You always want to, you want to hold other people to the fire. You're not holding yourself to the fire. You just said you give it 100%. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving a What's wrong with you? You owe you an explanation. You need to put yourself on fire. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more dessert. No more, look, you're working out now. No, no more alcohol, not right like now. Not, no, I can't handle it right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Stop saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said I'm going to cry. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power, every single day. I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor in our victory. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running and their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream, that it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream are finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people